today I'm going to give you the scoop on absolutely everything you need to know about the Hermes Ankara loafers. So I picked these shoes up from a local Hermes boutique here in San Francisco um, a little over six months ago. I got them in December of 2020. So I figured six months was a good amount of time to kind of wear the shoes, live in them, and kind of see overall what my thoughts are. And so I figured I would do this review because I know a lot of times it's hard to try on shoes in Hermes due to availability and you have to order them in and all that. So I just wanted to do this review because I figured it would be helpful for those of you that are considering buying a new pair of flats or loafers from Hermes. So buying them from the boutique, you do get the nice, beautiful orange Hermes box, which I feel like I'm just like conditioned like Pavlov's dog to be like obsessed whenever I see one of these boxes. And like all of their other shoes, they do come with two very substantial, very like nice, thick, durable dust bags. So it's great because these dust bags actually do a really good job protecting your shoes when you travel. I don't use them, you know, when I'm storing the shoes at home. But I got these shoes. I went and tried on a few different pairs of loafers and I really wanted like a casual, understated, just like low key shoe. And I thought that these were a great option because even though they have the cut out H, it's again, like one of these things I always say, it's only for people like if you know, you know, these are Hermes. Otherwise, like the average person on the street is not gonna know that you are wearing a pair of shoes that costs like about a thousand dollars. So I really like that about these shoes. I tried on also, I believe the, the Paris loafer, which I think is gorgeous. But again, it's got like the big H buckle on it. So it's like a big logo. And the funny thing is, is that I am interested still in that pair of shoes. I just didn't pick them up that time because I was really looking for, you know, just like that casual everyday running errands, you know, going to the grocery store, maybe meeting a friend for coffee or brunch type of shoe. So this really fit the bill. And I decided to go with it in the blue color because I feel like this color blue can be worn all year and it matches a lot of different things. Also, especially because they can go with jeans and obviously like because of COVID, like we're wearing a lot of jeans these days, but I really like them because I know typically I would go for like a black version or a white version or something like that. White can get dirty really easily and black I think can look pretty formal in terms of a loafer. It can look, I think just like a bit more serious, a bit more dressed up. And so again, since these were casual shoes, I decided to go with like a bit more of like the fun blue color and I really, really like them. Now, in terms of availability, these Ankara loafers come in both men and women's style and they are often available online. So if for some reason you're not worried about building your purchase history with your essay in store, you can order them online, but Honestly, you should just go ahead and order them through an Hermes SA because they do get commission on anything they order, even if it's not in the store. So they are happy to order in items for you. And I love this shoe because it is true to size for Hermes. So for me, for Hermes, Chanel, Louboutin, and Jimmy Choo, I wear a size 37 and a half. But in all other brands, I do wear a size 37. So it's really just for these brands that tend to run a little bit more narrow, a little bit smaller that I go up a half size to 37 and a half. And these, again, I did get them in a 37 and a half. So they are true to my Hermes size. So these shoes are pretty available. Like online, you can often see them in lots of different colors. And I've always seen at least one or two colors of these in store. So you should be able to at least like get in and try on the shoe in your size to make sure you like the size. But other than that, in terms of fabrication, this shoe is made out of a beautiful, beautiful, soft Napa goat skin. And it also has a nice goat skin lining that is printed. So it's got this like nice little fun pop of color for you on the inside. Obviously the print varies based on the outer color of the shoe. And I like this leather because it's like buttery soft. I mean, this leather is so, so, so lightweight, so, so, so smooth, and it's just really comfortable. I mean, it's comfortable to the point that I never had to break in these shoes. They were good to go from day one. I never got any blisters, which is so rare when it comes to loafers. I feel like with loafers, there's always like those first few weeks of agony where you're just trying to like wear socks or put band-aids on and you don't have any of that with these shoes. Also because of like the beautiful buttery soft nature of these shoes, you can see that they're very malleable. So they do this nice thing where they mold to your feet right away. This creasing is not something that's changed over time. Just like the first time or two that I wear them, 
that I wore them. The shoes molded to my feet and that's been it. They've not changed since then, which I think is really great. And also these shoes are super, super like lightweight. Like look, they're not heavy. You know, they're not gonna be a stress on you to wear and they're really comfortable. And I feel like for flat shoes, like is it just me that I think it's really hard to find comfortable flat shoes, but I have worn these shoes on days that I've walked like 20,000 steps. I definitely think that they are worth the money. So other than, you know, the outer leather here on the sole, it's really nice that it's got a leather sole for like the middle portion, but they have gone ahead and done like the rubber textured reinforcements on the heel and on the front. So that way you do not have to go to a cobbler and get your shoes reinforced. So that way you are not like sliding all over the place. So I think that's another great thing about these shoes. And yeah, overall, I love the shoe. One downfall I would say is because it's so smooth, so supple, you wanna make sure that you don't damage, you know, the back of the heel when you're pulling it on and pulling it off because it could fold very easily. So I did order a set of shoehorns. If you're not familiar with shoehorns, men use these a lot to not mess up their dress shoes. You just kind of slide it in the back of the shoe and then put your foot in so that way it keeps, you know, the back from folding. I got a pack of like two or three of these, I think for like $10 on Amazon. I'll find the one that I ordered and I'll link it below, but it's great. I keep, you know, one by my desk, one, you know, by my shoes when I walk in. So whenever I need to, I just, you know, pull one of these to like slip it on just to make sure I don't crush the back of it. I'd say that's the only downside about this shoe. Now, there is one thing that is a bit more of like a preference call. If you want a bit more of like a tailored shoe, a bit more of like a dressy loafer, something that, you know, you would probably wear to work a bit more and things like that, I would probably go for like the Paris or the Colette loafers because those two are much thicker. The leathers that they have, they're much thicker, they're much more structured, and they don't look as casual or as lived in, so they won't show as much wear over time. So inherently, I think they look a bit more formal. Also because of like the metal ornaments on them, I think makes them look like a bit more dressed up. So I definitely recommend these shoes if you're going for like a more casual lived in look, but if you want something a bit more formal, maybe take a look at some of those other loafers. But overall, I'm obsessed with these shoes. I wear them all the time. I really recommend them. And even though they are a bit pricey, I think they're like before tax, $890. I think Hermes goods, like they're so well-crafted that you're going to have them forever. So I think they're worth the money, honestly. Like the cost per wear on these is already a great cost per wear because I wear them all the time. So those are my thoughts on the Ancora loafers from Hermes. Now, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. Just click that little thumbs up button down below. And if you have any other questions about these loafers or my thoughts, if there's anything that I missed, I hope I didn't miss anything, be sure to leave it in the comments below. And if you wanna get more content about all things shopping, so not just reviews, but also unboxings, shopping vlogs, things like that, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so that way you get to hear every single time I've got a new video delivered straight to you. Thanks so much, everyone. My name is Lily. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.